The film you are about to see represents a significant breakthrough in the advancing science of the motion picture. You are about to witness history in the making. <laughs> Welcome to the SOC TV show. I'm blank. And I'm space. And what a show we have lined up for you today. We'll be doing everything from fashion to horse rating. And we'll even take a sneak peek into live senators meeting from Croissant. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I do know this is going to be a great show. Let's get straight into it. Hello and welcome to our new segment, Fashion at its Finest. Today we'll be looking at some of the best models from around the world and we will be seeing what kind of fabulous clothes I have to offer. Today our judges will be Judge 1 and Judge 2. And our contestants will be Mary, Susan and Bob. Nah. You must be very excited <laughs> tonight. Why don't you head on down and start getting prepared. Okay. So judges, how are you feeling about tonight? I feel quite fabulous about it. I think it's going to be a great night. What do you think? I think it's going to be great. What about you? Uh, it's going to be fabulous. That's what I said. What do you think about tonight? Oh, uh, it's going to be great. But what I think we should all keep in mind is never judge a book by its cover. Wise words. Thank you. I can agree with that. Now, when we come back, we'll be showing our first contestant. Contestant one! How do I look, my beautiful? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I need a moment. Ten, no. Yeah, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Look, I can only disagree with you. That outfit is atrocious. Look at it. Disgusting green. Just atrocious. One out of ten. <coughs> With that, let's go to our next contestant. Contestant two! Oh, I have McFallen. Ew. What is with that dress? It does not match the hat. This is a disgusting thing that I do wish I could unsee. Three out of ten. Look, that is amazing. That dress, the velvety blue, the hat, just gorgeous. Ten out of ten. Well done. Okay, now it's time for... Get down the street! IMBD rating. Look, I never thought I would say this, but I actually agree with you. That dress was amazing. And, like, <sighs> 10 out of 10. No, 11 out of 10. Well done. Well, <laughs> well, it seems you have a winner. Well done, Mary. Whoa! What did I win? Well, you won, so you're going to do every crew member's homework. That includes the judges, me, and your fellow contestants. Well done. No! This was expensive. <laughs> well then, that's the end of our show. Be sure to tune in next time for Fashion at its finest. Goodbye. Welcome back, everyone. And gee, wasn't that just fantastic? It sure was, Space. How about our next segment, though? Oh yes, very intriguing indeed. Sit back 
and enjoy horse rating. Hello and welcome to this part of the show where we are going to rate horses. Yes, that's right. We are going to rate each of our three horses on speed, height, colour and unicornness. Here is our first horse. Beautiful horse. This is Skinny. Skinny is a 20 time winner of the Melbourne Cup and has been racing all over the world in many races and always coming out on top. Why can this horse win every race she is in? Well, it's a mystery. Some say it's because of her long legs and some say it's because of her weight. We will never know. What would you rate her, Carla? I'd give her an 8 out of 10. I would give her a 7.5 out of 10. Here's our next horse. This stunner is Quaddy. He is also a racehorse but isn't as successful as Skinny. He has only started racing this year and has won three races. Good job, Quaddy. I give Quaddy an 8 out of 10. I'll also give Quaddy an 8 out of 10. Here's our last horse for tonight's show. <laughs> and as you can see he's gorgeous and he's very intelligent <laughs> Kevin speak hello <laughs> wow so smart I give Kevin a 100 out of 10 <laughs> me too congrats Kevin you're tonight's winner Well, that was, I have to say, the smartest horse I've ever seen, and I've seen you. <sighs> Too smart for his own good, I'd say. Coming up now is something we've all been waiting for. Do you mean? I sure do, Blank. The live Coruscant meeting with the senators of the Galactic Republic. Oh, th that's actually nothing what I was thinking. So you're not excited for episode 7? Uh, of what? Orange is the New Black? No, silly. Of Star Wars. Oh, I've never seen any of them. Well, I think that calls for a Star Wars marathon here at South Oakley. Don't judge me. No, no. It can be like an amnesty. Where you can just show up and patch up any holes in your Star Wars viewing experience. You can spend the whole day watching Star Wars movies and no questions asked. Oh, where do I sign up? Well, before we begin the sign-up process, we would have to have the amnesty ratified by the Galactic Republic Senate. Huh. Where's that? Coruscant. Oh, oh, oh yes. I definitely know where that is. Just in case our viewers don't know where Coruscant is, we have two correspondents live on the scene at the capital of the Galactic Republic. And the dead eye of a barrier has been foiled. Hello and welcome to Good Morning Coruscant Life from the Senate building where the Galaxy Senator have been debating throughout the night about the prohibition of Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs. Yes, a very heated debate from all centers throughout the galaxy. The room is currently split 50-50. The Supreme Chancellor has just asked for silence. He will soon make his decision. While we wait for the final verdict, we will cross over to our front line correspondent in the ongoing conflict between the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic <coughs> in the Battle of Alderaan. Over to you, Warren. Thank you, Spinky and Crikey. Yes, here we are at Alderaan, once a beacon of hope, now a blood-soaked battlefield between the Empire and the Galactic Republic. <laughs> Looks like we've lost the newsfeed. Oh no. I guess it's goodbye to both the Empire and the Galactic Republic. It also looks like it's a goodbye from us too. Please join us next time. Stay safe and bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>